Hi! In today's video, I will show you how to fix your Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 crashes. If it goes black screen after launch, or if your Modern Warfare 3 won't launch at all. I will cover this fixes for both platforms, Steam, and Battle.net. Okay, first I will show you what to do if you play the game on Steam. Open up Steam. Go to your library, and find Call of Duty. Right click on it and select properties. Then click on installed files. Here, you will select this option, verify integrity of game files. This option is here to scan for any missing or corrupted files, and it will replace them with original ones if it finds any of that kind of files. So just be patient and wait for this scan to finish. After that, launch Modern Warfare 3 and see will it work. If not, you will try to modify some launching properties. Click here on Browse, and this will take you to Call of Duty installation folder. Here, find this exe file, right click on it, and select Properties. Select Compatibility tab, and here check these two options, Disable Full Screen Optimizations, and run this program as an administrator. Now click on Change High DPI Settings, and check these two boxes. Then click on OK, here on Apply and OK. Launch the game and see if this worked. If not, I will suggest to go back here and revert all the settings to how they were. And to continue to next solution. And that will be to reinstall your game. But don't worry, you won't have to re-download whole game again. Just be sure that you follow exactly what I am doing. Click up here on Browse. This will open Call of Duty installation folder. Click up here on Common, and here are your Steam games installed, together with Call of Duty. Right click on Empty Spot, select New, and then Folder. Name it as you wish, I will call it MW3. Now right click on this original Call of Duty HQ folder, and select Cut. Open this new folder we just created, Right click and select paste. If you go back, you will see that we don't have that Call of Duty HQ folder anymore because we transferred it to this folder. Close this for now and go back to Steam. Right click on Call of Duty, select Manage, and then Uninstall and confirm Uninstall. Do not worry about this, you won't have to download the whole game all over again. Now you will click on Install and select that drive where the game was installed before. Mine was on D drive, so I will select it, and click Next. Steam will now create local files for this game, try to discover existing files. After not finding any, it will start to download the game. Click on Pause, right click on Game, select Manage, and again select Uninstall, and confirm Uninstall. You can minimize Steam. Open your Windows Explorer and go into that drive where you selected the game to install. Mine was D drive. Then open Steam Library, Steam Apps, and then Common. And as you see, Steam created new Call of Duty HQ folder when we were reinstalling the game moments before. So now, you will open that folder you created. Mine was MW3, and open this Call of Duty HQ folder. You need to copy all these files inside this folder. To do it on quick way, hold Ctrl on your keyboard and press A. This will select all files, and now right click on any of the files, and select Cut. Go back to Common folder. Open this Call of Duty HQ folder. Right click, and select Paste. Wait for all files to be transferred. After transfer is done, go back, right click on folder we created and select delete. You can now close this and go back to Steam. You will select the game and press install again. Select that same drive and click on next. As you see, Steam is again creating game files and discovering existing files. 
but now it will actually discover that files we just copied. It will take some time for Steam to discover them all that files. After it finishes, your game is ready to play, and in 99% of the cases, game will work now. Go launch it and try. And that was the method for all of you playing Modern Warfare 3 over Steam. Now I will show you solutions if you play Modern Warfare 3 over Battle.net Launcher, and after that some solutions that could work regardless on which platform you play. So, if you play Modern Warfare 3 over Battle.net, this whole process will be just a little bit easier for you. In Battle.net Launcher, select Call of Duty. Click on this cog icon and select Show in Explorer. This will open Call of Duty installation folder. Open Retail folder. Find this exe file. Right-click on it and select Properties. You will do same as we did it on Steam. Check this box next to disable full screen optimizations and also this, run this program as administrator. Now click on change high DPI settings. Check both boxes here, click on OK, and to save all this settings we just made, click on apply and then OK. Launch your game and see how it work. This settings should help you if you encountering black screen or your game crashes after alt tabbing from game while in full screen mode. If it doesn't work, revert this settings also. Next what you will do is click on this cog icon and select scan and repair just to make sure that there are no missing or corrupted files while we take the next step. After scan finishes, launch the game. If it still crashes, you will perform next step. Click on cog icon and select show in explorer. As you see here, we are in this call of duty folder. Click one folder back and you will see this Call of Duty folder inside. Right-click on it and select Rename. Click at the end. Add space and write anything you want. We just need to rename it. You can close this for now and go back to Battle Net Launcher. If you see Install here, then you are good. If not, close Battle Net Launcher completely and then launch it again. Now, when I select Call of Duty, it will say Install. But you will not click on Install. You see below Install, it says Locate the Game. Click on that option and select Drive where your game is installed. For me, it is E Drive. Find that folder you have just renamed. Mine is here. Click on it just once, and down here, click on Select Folder. You will see initializing, updating, and then you will see play button. In my case, I have option to update the game. If you have the same option, click on update. It doesn't necessarily have to be this option, but you can check for any update before you select play. Click on the cog icon, and if you have option to check for updates, go ahead and select it. After that, launch the game, and it should be working fine. And that would be it for people who play Modern Warfare 3 over Battle.net Launcher. Now I will show you some scenarios where your game could be crashing or not launching regardless on what platform you play. First reason could be if your graphic card driver is outdated. To check is your graphic card driver up to date, right click on Start and select Device Manager. Expand Display Adapters. Right click on your display adapter and select update driver. Select search automatically for drivers and if Windows find any new drivers, it will install them. After that, restart your PC. Sometimes this method will say that you have best drivers already installed, but that's not always true. Best way to see if your graphic card have any updates is to go to manufacturer website Find your graphic card and check for updates. I have NVIDIA graphic card, so I use NVIDIA GeForce Experience software to check that. Launch it 
and click here on Drivers. Then click on Check for Updates. If there are any new drivers available, click on Download, and after that just follow instruction to install it. Restart your PC after that and launch the game. If you have Intel or AMD graphic driver, you can also install their softwares like I did for NVIDIA, and install drivers on this way. Next what we will do, is to check if you have some pending Windows updates. Click on Start, and select Settings. Here select Update and Security. Click on Check for Updates, and if it offer you any new updates, install them all. After that restart your PC and run the game. And here are some additional options what you can do if none of this worked. If you installed custom antivirus software, try to temporarily disable it, to make sure that it is not interfering with the game or game launcher, and then launch the game to check that. If you use Discord, if you listen to music over some apps or over your web browser, if you use any kind of overlays, close that, and any other apps that you don't need to run while you gaming, try without that, because any additional apps that run next to the game are taking your CPU and GPU resources, and it could be the reason your game crashes. In short, close all apps that you don't really need to run next to the game. If your game crashes during gameplay, check that the hard drive where the game is installed is not full, because that can cause the game crashes. Some people claim that transferring game to another drive, especially from normal hard drive to SSD drive worked for them. So if you can, buy an SSD drive and transfer the game without installing it, following the methods I show you earlier. If you done all steps exactly as I show you, your game will be fixed, with no more crashes. With this, we came to the end of this video. If any of this methods worked for you, please hit that like button, and consider to subscribe to my channel for more useful videos like this one. If you want to buy me cup of coffee, you can hit that thanks button. Until next video, stay safe and I see you all.